shows the citizens are working together to try to bring jobs and investment into the community. And it's been my opinion that if you're not looking down the road, you're going to go backwards. So what we've learned is when we put our joint assets and, and, our, and our interests together, we can go a lot further. Well, Eden only has a small industrial site, 12.7 acres. So we needed something larger if we were going to attract larger industry. So we felt like it was a good opportunity for us to exercise that option, have an industrial site and something that was a little more marketable than we had previously. In 2015, we lost one of our major employers when Miller Coors closed. And since then, our uh, workforce has been struggling to find things, find jobs. And Eden was a finalist for three major data centers about 10 years ago. It's the city being proactive in order to have a site that will be attractive. And it's important that the counties and the cities work together because, you know, a win for the city of Eden is a win for every municipality in Rockingham County and Rockingham County itself. The land has been purchased and we have talked to Duke Energy and let them know what exactly is going on with the site because they market for data centers as well because they have a vested interest in that. One of the things that we recognize is every community has its own assets, its own special, unique things that make it uh, different. We have many great assets in Sanford, but one of those things is uh, water and sewer capacity. We're regional leading capacity wise, and yet like a, like a CD or a bank account, we're making very little return on those assets. When the Moncure Megasite came online and became an entity in North Carolina, we were blessed to be in the Carolina core. So there's four megasites in, in the central North Carolina area, and Moncure is only 15 or so miles from downtown Sanford. So this was an opportunity to really look at solving a problem that involved more than one jurisdiction. Our capacity uh, with sewer and water, we became instantly a great partner in the process. We worked really hard with Chatham County to collaborate together with their, their commissioners in, in the Moncure site to provide a 12 mile wastewater line that would then serve uh, anything that would come online in that Moncure area would be served by a Sanford uh, wastewater and lift station. If the Moncure megasite becomes active, we will have an enormous growth driver in this part of Chatham County and spill over into Lee, Harnett, and Wake. Hopefully Chatham County, Moncure, and Sanford will be enjoying whatever happens to come online that's served by that uh, uh, sewer line. We are very excited about this opportunity and really looking forward to getting those lines in the ground so that we are shovel ready for a major manufacturer. Really what the changes we've seen in Fuqua Verena have been quite transformational. Uh, we're experiencing uh, significant growth here in this community. Uh, part of it is our Main Street program and the investments that we make as a community through revitalization and working with our businesses downtown. Yeah, we love the downtown community. It's well supported by the mayor and all of the government officials here. They promote small businesses and they know it's about family and that this is our livelihood and, and they're very supportive. So we've invested quite a bit of public investment into our downtown with the hopes that it would leverage private investment. It has, and uh, we're continuing to demonstrate uh, and show confidence to the private sector that we're willing to invest in our downtown. They should be willing to invest in our downtown as well. I've never seen a more shocking, a more gut-wrenching time in our community than in 2003 when the mill shut down. In one day, we are infamous that we laid off over 4,000 people in one day. City Council met three and four times a month, and we were trying to decide how do you build a new community because this one was gone. I can remember circumstances of people coming to City Council meeting, huge guys, tough and tumble guys who had worked all of their lives with tears dripping off their chin talking about how they had no idea what they were going to do with themselves because they didn't know anything else but working in the mill. And it was a sad, sad time, but we decided 
that we had to rebuild this community. We had to find other ways so that people could enjoy a healthy living. So we went to Mr. Murdoch, who owned the downtown, and said, we're, we're having this problem with recruiting. He said, well, I am too. And so we both agreed that it, it needed to be done. Something had to be done for downtown Kannapolis. He agreed to sell us the property, and we bought 50 acres of our downtown. In fact, some of my friends at the legislature said to me a couple of times, well, Mayor, you're like the dog that chases the bus. Now that you got it, what you gonna do with it? And I said, well, we've got a plan. We've moved on that plan because this has never been done before. People will know that our downtown is really open for business. So we've now spent 25 plus million dollars on our infrastructure downtown. Huh. We've proven that we can tear up every city street and now we're proving that we can put it back together again. In the next 18 months, we're likely to have one or more hotels in our downtown space. Because of all this activity, we have just been bowled over by the idea that we are an inviting place to be. And so we have had other people come to us and suggest, we'd like to be a part of it too with what you've got going on here in downtown Kannapolis. It's a matter of hard work and taking on a challenge to get it done.